Okay, hi guys. I'm going to run you through now just um, how I manage my serving practice uh, so that it stays interesting basically. Uh, a lot of the time uh, coaches or people giving you advice will give you the advice of grab a bucket of balls and serve and do half an hour of serving practice. And I have been guilty in the past of sort of saying that myself. Uh, it's a quick and easy way of just sort of saying, look, do a lot of serves and your serve will improve and therefore your game will improve. Uh, but half an hour with a bucket of balls can be mind-numbingly boring. So what I'm going to do just right now is show you a way that I use to still get serving practice, but firstly, make it a bit more interesting. And secondly, to get good, consistent feedback about whether you're improving the serve or not. Because if you just serve 200 balls, how do you know whether you're actually getting better at the serve or worse at the serve you know, from week to week? Is what you're doing improving or, or not? What I'm going to show you is just a technique I use that allows me, firstly, to make things interesting. Secondly, to get feedback there on the day about how I'm serving. And also to get feedback over time about whether your serve's improving from week to week. Okay? So I'm going to run you through that. Um, here and now. Later on I'm going to talk a, a little bit more um, about what serves to go with your game and all that sort of stuff. So I will get to that. But here and now, it's just, this is just really the mechanics of my particular service um, game or technique that I use. To help me do it, what I use here is these empty um, boxes, ball boxes really, um, to aim at. Uh, the reason why these make good targets is firstly they're about the right size. Um, so when you put them on the table, put them on the table, they, they're a good target. Secondly, because they're not super light, um, if you hit them, they don't tend to just fly straight off the table. So they, they do tend to stay in position, which is good as well. Um, thirdly, because they are cardboard, when you hit them, it's fairly obvious that you've hit them. So it makes it easier to actually see um, that you have hit. Um, and also, because we all buy, buy boxes of balls, you, you usually have tons of these things lying around. So it's quite easy. I mean, you can use them to transport some of your balls. Where I put them is typically, if I just get out of the way for a second, uh, typically I like to put them each corner, uh, just a little bit in from the white line, but basically in those corners. And the middle one I like to put in a position roughly either here just on, the, on one side of the centre line to mimic the playing elbow of a right-hander and occasionally I'll put it on the other side to mimic the playing elbow of a left-hander. So roughly just gives me three good targets to um, aim at. So those are my targets. Now, how this works, I'll just start the other end. Rather than just serving 200 balls and boring yourself to death, I like to work with, say, 10 balls at a time. And this is how I do it to allow me to check what's going on. When I'm serving, I take my time with each ball. So I don't hold two at once, I hold one, which slows me down. Secondly, the way I work this is, if I serve, a, if I serve it for a, a double bounce serve, that is, so it bounces twice. If I do double bounce the serve, that's one point. I get one point. If I double bounce it and the second bounce hits one of my targets, that's two points. If I serve it and it bounces once and goes off the end of the table, okay, that's minus two because I, I don't want to do that. And if I serve a fault, that's minus four points. So the idea is, is in, with my 10th serve, to score as many points as I can. And I haven't been doing this at all, so, but I'll give you the idea. Now what, what this does is basically allow you from week to week or just even during your half hour session or 15 minute session of serving, it will give you an idea of roughly where you are, um, how many points you averagely, on average score. Week by week you can try and score more points. If you find that your serves, you're scoring less points, you know you need to do more service practice. So what I do is I've got my 10 balls, I'm going to try and double bounce the serve. Now I work with one serve at a time in the beginning of the season to get some consistency. So this is just going to be a basic forehand pendulum backspin side spin serve. 
Okay? Later on, when I've further on in the season, I'll mix in the serves and do several at once. But to begin with, because it's so early in the season, I'm just getting some basic practice. It'll be the same serve. If I was really, really learning a new serve, I'd probably aim at the same target every time. But for the moment, I'm going to aim at all three targets. Um, same serve, count my points and see how they go. And again, get myself in position. Just bounce it a couple of times. Go through my mental routine. Okay, That's a left. You can just count it or not count it. I've only got 10 balls, so that counts as a double, double bounce. So two points. Alright. That's a plus three. One point and one point. So two points, two, two points out of two serves. Four. Back to minus two now. Oh, and done my serve. Okay. Off the end of the table. Minus two. So I'm down to minus four. Double bounce it, and to minus three. A left and a double bounce, to minus two. Another double bounce, minus one. Another double bounce, back to zero. Off the end of the table, minus two. And there, back to minus one. So, for those 10 serves, what happens is I ended up on minus one, consisting of one fault, two serves off the end of the table, and seven decent double bounce serves. But what it gives me is that, it, firstly, this kind of system, it highlights the importance of, firstly, not serving a fault, because of the minus four. Serving off the end of the table, giving your opponent an easy attack, minus two, so that emphasizes that you don't want to do those, and it rewards double bounce serves and hitting the target. And I try and work my way up. Now, what's a good target to aim for with 10 serves? You should hopefully be trying to get somewhere, hitting the target at least three or four times to get six points, maybe going off the end once, twice. So, you know, I'd say start to aim for about six to 10 and try and work your way up. But you'll know right there where I finished on minus one without any practice. That tells you you've got a bit of work to do, you know, and it's only on one serve. But this is the technique I use of 10 serves, minus four for a fault, minus two for a none double bounce, one for an ordinary double bounce serve, two for a double bounce serve hits the target. <laughs> Allows me to basically gauge how I'm going week to week on that serve whether I'm improving or not. And it gives me some, it makes it more interesting. Now for fast, long serves, if you're practicing your long serve, okay, what I would suggest is again, um, one point for a good long serve close to the targets, two points if you hit them. You obviously do want them to go deep, so you're not gonna double bounce the serve. So I'd, I'd probably say in that case, take off minus two if you don't get it deep. You know, give yourself a little cut off. And if you don't serve, we'll put a towel on the table so that your towel cuts it off like so. So if you're trying to practice a long serve, spread your towel out so that if you hit the towel, minus two. And that an easy way. Of course, then you can't practice long serves and short serves together, but it's a good start. So you'd get one point for getting it hitting here, two points for a target, minus four for off the end, minus two for hitting the, the towel on a long when you're practicing long serves. But this is essentially this technique is what I'm going to be doing over the next few months to brush up my serving, um, because with the new rubber, which is much faster. Um, I'm going to have to work on my contact uh, to get the ball short again so that I can keep pressure on my opponent because it is a lot quicker and faster than the, uh, the blade and the rubber that I was using. So I've got to go back to some basics and um, work on my serves again. 
Now, as I said, this is just the technique I use to make it a bit more fun and a bit more interesting. Um, I will talk later about uh, what serves I will be using to put together with my game and how to decide what serves you basically want to put with your game. Um, so that, how can we train it? So we'll, I'll cover that a little bit more as well. So uh, stay tuned and I'll, I'll get that to you. Another thing um, I nearly forgot to mention that I just want to include uh, about the service and using this technique is not only is it a good way to check how a particular serve is going, it's also quite a good way to compare how uh, your individual serves the strength of each compared to each other. So if you're, say, doing the normal backhand, uh, forehand pendulum backspin side spin serve, say you're consistently getting 10 points using that technique. You go to the side spin only version of the serve, or the side spin top spin, and you can only get three points consistently. Well, you know you've got a little bit of work to do on that serve. Um, so especially if most of your serves are in sort of like the 10 range, and you've got a couple when you try and do it, you're consistently in the low, say, three or minuses. Well, you know that those serves, if you want to use them, want to use them in a match, they're probably liabilities because you're serving too many faults, too many off the end, um, and you're letting yourself get open, get the opponent in, making too many mistakes, letting him get in and attack too often. So it's a very good way to actually kind of gauge are your serves, where are your strengths, where are your good serves versus your bad serves, also are they match ready. Um, and you'll get the feel for, you know, if it's something negative, if you're getting negative scores or very low scores, I would tend to say that those kind of serves aren't ready for real matches um, because you're simply making too many mistakes with them. So um, it's, yeah, just a little additional kind of use of the technique, I guess, um, that you can expand on to um, see where your serves are at in terms of their level. So, um, yeah, I hope it makes it a bit more interesting for you and uh, useful. But it's, it's something I, I do use it myself. Um, it just makes things a little bit less boring and it's very useful in that regard to see um, exactly how a serve stacks up. Um, so, uh, good luck with it.